continue to pray for our nation, continue to pray for the unity of Kenya, the prosperity of Kenya, and that all of us as Kenyans will know the will of God, will look for the will of God, pray for the will of God and the will of God to persist and to be accomplished in Kenya. I thank God for our great country, Kenya, and the, the many things God has done for us, the blessing of the rains, the blessing of our farmers, and the many things God has done for us so that we can be able to feed our nation, and many other things that God has done for us, the peace in our nation, the tranquility in our nation. I want to thank God for Kenya. And I want to um, say to all of us, as we have been told this morning, it is good for all of us to know the purposes of God in our lives so that we can pursue and we can accomplish what God has planned for each and every one of us. Um, in everything that we do, in business, in service, in leadership, that we may seek to know God's will and to pursue and attain and to ask God to help us to achieve that which is in his perfect design and destiny. Um, let me also say that this morning, as government, we respect our constitution. The preamble of the constitution of Kenya says God of all creation. That is the beginning of the constitution of Kenya, meaning that we surrender to God. And that is why Kenya shall continue to be a God-fearing nation. And we will defend the freedom of worship in our republic. We will make sure that we don't compromise and there will be no limitations or compromise on the freedom of worship in Kenya. I know that there are proposals that have been made in some quarters about regulation of the church regulation of worship, regulation of religious activities. I want to remind those who are pursuing that kind of exercise that the Constitution of Kenya is very explicit on the freedom of worship. And there will be no compromise whatsoever. There will be no limitation whatsoever on the freedom of worship in Kenya. Because Apart from what the Constitution provides, we are a God-fearing nation and we will equally defend our faith. As Christians, as, religi as, as, as different religions, we will make sure that we, are, we protect the freedom of worship in Kenya. And I want to ask those who have ideas to allow religious leaders themselves to develop how they want to regulate themselves and how the church, how religious organizations are going to go forward. Because that was the recommendation of the task force I appointed under Reverend Mutaba Mushimi that the religious body in Kenya will decide how they want to make sure that the freedom of worship in Kenya is protected. And I want to give assurance to the church and to the religious institutions in Kenya that we will defend the right and the freedom of worship in Kenya, and it will not be compromised in whatsoever manner.